This conference will now be recorded. Hi, uh, today we are uh, going to see how to find out user exits either from a transaction or from a program or uh, is there any way from SPR group. So this is in the S4 NAS system. So currently I am in S4 NAS system. You can see the system here. Uh, which is 1909 okay so yeah so this is my installation product 1909 is working to uh the version 1909 so we are going to see uh the user exits okay so uh let us take an example from sales perspective so we go to the transaction called va01 so everybody knows that this is uh the transaction to create sales so, from the view screen. So first of all, I need to find out what is the package for this transaction. I can go to the system uh, and status. So this is the uh, transaction code and this is my program. So how do I find the package for uh, this is? I will go to SC93. So transaction code is zero one. So just execute. So, so this is a transaction code V is zero one, and this is a package. So from the first scenario is I need to find out the user exits from the transaction code. So before that, I need to find out what is the package of this. And now I can go to S mode. This is my uh, user exit transaction code. So I will see. So delete this. Uh, package. So instead the package of a VA01, which is VA, uh, like we found out in the SE93 transaction code. Okay. So these are all the standard user exits available for. VA01 transactions. So we should not consider the whole sales orders, but this is only for uh, VA01. Okay, so in this, I think you mostly know the module program MB45A. So where you will have all the uh, exits available from the sales point of view, VA45A 2003. So this is one way of finding the transactions uh, or exits from the transaction code. And the second way is, uh, I want to find out from the screen uh, program. So, say take example of a VA01 again. Okay. So, what is the program for this? You can just go to the status. And this is my screen program. Okay. So, we have a screen program and GUI program. So, we need to consider the screen program. Take the screen program. Now, I go to C38. Let me do this. Just go to the display. So here you will find out uh, directory. Just click on the directory. So here also you can see a package, and uh, so here also you can see this entries. So from the module pool program or from the program, uh, if you want to find out the package, so this is the way you need to go into the transaction SC38 and go to the object directory. So you will find out the package. So we already seen from the package how I can find out my exits or uh, the function models. So now I will go into a different transaction, which is C84. This is a repository. So from the repository, just input the announcements, first our exits, and you put a package name here. So and execute. So this also will bring you the same way of. Uh, identifying the user exits so there is a no difference from smod or from the se83 repository or from the uh, exits from the s mode okay. so we are uh, ultimately looking only for the package so both va01 and uh, se38 of va01 both have a same user exits which are, which counts to 15. okay so the third method is now i can just go inside uh, uh, spr which is my CP reference object or reference IMG screen. 
So here in this, I can go into the sales and distribution. Okay. So here we have a system adoptions. So basically the difference from ECC to S4 now is in the ECC, this particular node is represented as a system modification. So here it is changed as a system adoption. So there are some changes, uh, but technically uh, uh, most of the nodes are available from the ECC to this one. Only few are changed there. So here also you see the user exits. Okay, so this is complete list of user exits from the sales and distribution point of view. So if I want to find out what is there in the sales, let's go here and uh, sales and processing. So this will bring you again APMB 45A. Okay, so if you want to find out exits here, you can go and uh, the system will give you all the module pool programs here. Okay, so scan the function modules, user exits, and the module pool programs. Uh, but here the difference is from S mode or from uh, SE 84, and this is it's a pretty straightforward. You no need to go and search what is a user exit or what is uh, how to find out. So you can just directly go inside this, and uh, wherever you want the modifications, you can modify. So first is how to find out. Now uh, we will go and see uh, the validation. Okay. Say for example. Uh, I want to find out or I want to make some changes in the user exit. So first of all, we should know whether that particular user exit is correct or not. So how do I find out? So I will just go into the SC technique again. Okay, so this is my program. So in this, we will be having a list of user exits. These are all includes. So say for example, uh, I want to find out what is there in this jacket? MV40 by A0 by AOZZ. Okay, so this is uh, so this is basically useful for uh, modification. So we will go into the SPRO and see particularly the description of what is that user exit. Okay, so I, I'm just going to the system. Uh, user exits and uh, from the sales point of view I will click here and sales document okay so say uh, involved program so I want to modify sales document uh, I can use this mv 45 okay uh, say for example I want to delete something so I can use this uh, user exit delete document or I want to find out uh, uh, I want to modify uh, sold to party so i have a separate one so what we will do i'm going to c page okay so enhancement points are there uh, we will take one example of uh, c 37 I'll just take this example. This is the exit which is available in uh, uh, S mode. Okay, so we'll take you there again. S mode. So I can insert my package. So, for example, Mm, you take consider for example module program here yeah, predefined sold to party in the sales document just take this and display if there are any components okay so you see the components okay so this is the pre-assignment of a sold to party in sales documents which means uh, basically when you create a sales order so the sold to party you will be inputting manually but in case if you want Assign the sold to party automatically or predefined pre assignment in the sales documents. You can make the assignment here. Uh, either you can write uh, some custom program, custom TV insert in this button and it has to be written in this. So just to see uh, whether it's correct or not, we will go into the SC37 for this function module. Go inside this. Uh, there is an include, but I'm not sure if this include is there or not. So we will just find it. Now we will go to V01 okay so, uh, so this is my sales 
uh, area I'm just going inside uh, okay so actually this should trigger it is not trigger so that means this function model is not working okay so we will take another example SC58 or oh, SCPDM 45A. So, what I will do, I will just try to find out is it the main program. Okay, so now we have a lot of user accessible in this. So I will try to see the time of our document prepared. Uh, user accessible document prepared. Save document prepared. Okay, I will just see here. And uh, this is only just for validation whether this is properly triggering or not. Or I can directly go at the time of save. What is there in the time of a save? Perform save document prepare user exit save document. Okay, I will just go into this. So we have a breakpoint here. Uh, yeah, so there is something uh, code available. I will put a breakpoint and we will see whether it's triggering properly or not. So if it is triggering properly, so that means that is the correct point where you can modify or enhance your code. Uh, okay, so I'll just go here. I'm creating that. I'm trying to create a sales order. Okay, and this is uh, payment terms, input terms. So these are all input terms one and two. Okay, this is for uh, input term CS one, triple zero one. Okay, so this is okay. You can ignore for time being. And the material I will take TG 10, model quantity is 1. Okay, so so now when I try to save this, the system should trigger the user exits where uh, I put a breakpoint. So we will try this. Uh, there are some complete data. So okay, so you can't. Uh, so incompletion of data is there. So let me go to the editor and make some changes here. Okay, so this is my output. <laughs> Uh, I will go to the header sales data tab. Okay, shipping point. So this is shipping conditions. Take it mind. Uh, now I will try to change. Yes, this is okay. Now you see it is triggering. So this is a breakpoint we put. So uh, this is a place where I need to find out, or I this is a place where. At the time of a save, uh, if I want to make some changes, I can make it in this exit. Okay, so this is a basically a module pool program and this is a user exit. So you can make, so this is a uh, kind of a validation you can do uh, to make changes into uh, the user exit. And uh, this is only uh, for, from the functional point of view. I'm not, not uh, giving you a brief, a brief idea about how uh, you are going to make the changes technically. This is one way if you are writing your FS or if you are giving some technical specifications to the developer. So you can say, okay, you can go and look into this place where uh, the code will be exactly triggering at the time of a save of your sales order. Okay, so now we can also go and see uh, for any other module, say, I will use 31. So this is when I'm going to create a service order. So we can find out what is the uh, we will run the same exercise what we did it for sales order. We will try to do it for uh, service orders. Okay, so this is my transaction. We need to do once a transaction is formed, I will go into uh, identifying the package. So, how do I identify the package? So, I need to go to SC93 
and you put the package here or transaction here and this is here. okay so this is my package so once you got the package either you can go to s mode or you can just go into sc84 so we will try with sc84 announcements okay customer exits enhancement you can put the package here and execute the system will give you all the exits which are triggering for iw31 transaction okay so this is another way to find out the or exits from the transaction code in the same way you can find out uh, from the program so how do i find so i can go to sc93 so this is my transaction code and this is my program so how do I go to the uh, object repository? So same IW31. So basically, for a, from a transaction and from the program, the package will be same. So uh, just try with uh, another one, which is IW51, which is for notifications. So, <clears throat> yeah, so this is my program. So how do I find out my object repository? So IW0C. So this is for a service notification. So basically, you should know what is uh, the transaction code or a program name, so then it is easy from both point of view uh, to identify the package. If package is found, so either you can go to S mode or you can go to the SC84 to find out the relevant enhancements or user access. So the third option, uh, getting it from the transaction code, like user access uh, from the screen. Uh, it will work only for uh, wherever the SPRO screen is enabled, but most of the uh, modules it is enabled, but few modules it is not enabled. So in this, uh, where it is not enabled, we can go and find out from the transaction code or from the uh, program. Okay. So uh, to give you a brief idea, what we are going to, what we have discussed. So I'll just take off. So, how to identify user access? So, this is from the transaction code, and the next one is the program. Okay, so if the transaction is known, so I can go to SC93 and I can find out my package. Okay, if package is known, then I can go to IRS mode or SC84 and go to the announcement. Okay. So if the program is known, so then you can go to SC38 uh, and go to the object. So this is nothing but go to object directory entry. Okay. So once this object directory entry, uh, you will get again the package. So once the package is known, so same history, you can go to the uh, S mode or SC38 and go to the repository. So these are the basically are two uh, fundamental ideas or fundamental uh, uh, ways to find out the user exists for any kind of a transaction. This holds good for any kind of a transaction, either it is a sales or it is a or it is any kind of a model. So basically it is running uh, on the same functionality or on the same way. Okay, so hope it is clear. Maybe uh, you can just update, or uh, if you need any other uh, information, you can put it in the comments. Okay, uh, bye for now. Maybe I will come with another uh, uh, separate topic. Thank you.